I want to double down a little bit on the the last podcast I left on impact filter, which basically means spending more time on stuff that really hits the bottom line or hits the most important part of your strategy. And this is a good, I think this is a good uh, way of thinking about your life as well, relationships, or even when you're exercising in the gym, any of that stuff, your diet, just spending more time on what actually matters and not all the flutter. So with me, this, I realize as I'm talking about this, this is more of a problem for me than I would like to admit. And I can get caught up in trying to learn so many things or be really good at so many things. And, but there's only a few things that I'm probably better at than most people because of my personality or my skill set. And everyone has those unique things for them. It doesn't make me special. It's just everyone has something that they're going to have a little bit of an edge at. And those are the things that make me the most money. And I should focus most of my time on those. They're the most rewarding things. And when I'm cluttering around with, for me, I left messages about this before about, um, digging through quarterly reports and getting really, I don't know, like an accountant or a a detective. That stuff is fun for a little bit for me, but I don't like to get too muddied in that because it takes away from what I'm naturally good at, which are spotting trends and kind of noticing things that don't make sense and, and not really getting, not really getting super stuck in the mud and in the details. But i absolutely need to work with people or be around people who are good at those details and who really want to dig through them to make some of my analysis more complete. So I need to build something around me that really takes advantage. It's either adding those people in and getting more people who can help me with that, who I can collaborate with or work with, however that shakes out, or defining what it is I'm good at and writing it down and really putting more time each day, spending time in the morning right away doing those things, setting myself up for that kind of success. And not because it's it's the thing where you wander through the day and you know, I just need to really do, you know, X, Y, and Z today, which is my most important stuff. And then you end up, you know, you're surfing around reading articles about the market. You're, I don't know, you're putting out little fire, little things come up during the day. And you end up not doing, you end up spending like 15% of your day on the stuff that actually really matters. And if you can just turn that ratio upside down and spend a few hours in the morning on it, I think it makes all the difference. So I'm needing to, I'm thinking as I'm talking because I can see I was at my parents' house and it's, I always talk about when I'm with my parents because it's funny, you see traits in your family and you realize that they're part of you and you get to know more and more about why you are the way you are for some stuff. But I see things happening with them that are similar, that focusing on things that don't really matter, getting caught up in details, and that sucks your energy and bogs you down when it can be plainly obvious to someone else outside of you that you should stick to this and delegate these other things or hire someone to do those things or whatever it is. I know at some you don't necessarily need to hire somebody for everything, but it can really suck your energy to try to put together a desk from Ikea for five hours when you can hire a task rabbit to do it for a hundred dollars and then get your work done and make more money. Just things like that, that you don't think about that just don't make a lot of sense sometimes. So maybe this stirs up some ideas for you guys, but it's something that I'm going to work on today a little bit and next week to get more precise and focused on how can I cut out some clutter and really zero in on what I'm good at 